Hope you all had a great weekend, by the way. Appreciate you all coming by. Dude, I'm telling you, this, I, I hate this gun. I hate it so much. It doesn't do anything, bro. Oh, it'll, it'll actually kill me. I'm not like, oh, dude, I can't stand that gun. It's so bad. Hello, once again, everyone. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for tuning in to these uh, review videos. I know they're not like the most refined thing in the world, but it's nice to kind of look back and reflect on experiences. And also, it's nice It's nice to collate the mods now. Tight, you know, <clears throat> at least I have some sort of record of ones I've played and finished, and I can sort of give reflection um, on them. So, yeah, today we're looking at Kawasaki 09s, or just Kawasaki. Um... We're looking at his uh, Code Nightmare, Resident Evil Code Nightmare mod. Um, now, anyone who watched me play this would know that I had a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> because on one side of it, I hated some of the mechanics. <clears throat> I hated some of the, the gimmicks. I felt they were like, massively, like, they were kind of like, they were, they were, they were, they were how do I put this? They were massively creative but I felt like they were maybe not put together the right way. I don't know if that makes sense. I know it's a kind of weird criticism. I don't make mods for, you know, who I know. But I play enough of them to know that I can be critical in some areas. If I had to, I mean, if I had to run down a small list of things, it would probably be poison enemies. You know, I'm cool with that. But the thing is, you didn't know who was poison and who wasn't. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, then you've got, like, a, we a weapon that's... Com I, fe I felt, personally, was completely useless was... Uh, the shotgun. It's in my inventory. It's a red shotgun. Yeah, I had like the bow gun, but it had a sh it had a shotgun skin and fired differently. Um, I just felt it was like really, really. I don't know. I just didn't. I just didn't find it very useful. You know, you could clear one or two zombies, but other outside of that, it was completely pointless. Like you know, you could have got away of not having it. The shotgun for me was by far the best weapon in the game. Like, you know, it decaps. It 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 did legs, and. Um, yeah, there are enemies in this, the gorillas from uh, 1.5. Well, reskin zombies that have massively super fast running animations and high, high damage. Um, but yeah, the gorillas, like, you know, it can decapitate them. So that's pretty good. Um, the other negatives will probably be the respawning. I mean, respawning is a good mechanic if it's used correctly. I, I, I kind of say, like, as an example, like. If there's an enemy that's unique in the area, that's on fire or has a different kind of look, that would probably be the idea. But it's guarded by other enemies. <clears throat> it's always a nice challenge to kind of get the enemy out from the crowd and then eliminate them. Um, but yeah, there was none of that in this. It was literally just respawn after respawn. And, you know, I found that because there was no... I found resources to be a bit kind of odd. Like, you know, the, the powder system was a bit... It was a bit kind of tedious going back to the save room over and over just to get powders and get ammo. It just, yeah... Yeah, it was it was a long it was a long process, especially when everything's so far away from each other. Um, again, these these are negatives. These, these are just things that I think you could tighten it up, clean it up, and make things a bit more kind of apparent. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, you know, <clears throat> these are just kind of design flaws I found in it, especially with Kawasaki in his other mods. You know, I found them to be very enjoyable, and I always rated his mods highly, and always recommended people play them. Code Nightmare, however, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm still 50-50 on it. Um, the, 50, the 50 that I'm not sure about is the mechanics and the whole kind of layout of the game. The 1.5 areas in it. Um, I felt served no purpose. I just felt like they were nice to have. But, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I just didn't feel it was needed. I just didn't feel it was needed at all. I I, I just think like you could, you could do the same thing with the original layout and... Get, get the same experience <coughs> personally though that's just my opinion uh, but this is nice for those sort of people who haven't actually maybe played much Resident Evil mods I think this is more aimed towards those um, the challenge inside of it is really good but I'd say you have to have some sort of like knowledge of the game and definitely a knowledge of mechanics in RE2 to, to kind of you know make it worth your while in, in, in you know in completing it you know makes it a, a kind of an easier sort of task but um, yeah, but that's enough about the negative. What about the positives? Well, the positives, the first thing I'm going to say is the story. <laughs> the story is amazing. Centers around uh, Tony, Ben, Leon, and Roy. Roy's looking for his daughter. Ben's in the, in place of Ben, the other reporter. He's in the cell, but he's a member of their team, Bio. I think they're called. Um, Leon's Tony's brother. 
and you're playing as Tony in this, and um, Tony's basically just trying to, you know, stop Umbrella, and throughout the game, there's tons of cutscenes, dialogue, voice acting, an amazing, amazing, um, <coughs> pardon me, an amazing feat, and an amazing, um, you know, effort put into it in the story, which is why it's so upsetting for me that I have to be negative about some of the things in the mod, because I felt like, as a story, it was so, it was so good, but like, as, as it comes to the actual mechanics it just it just felt so kind of disconnected like i know it's called code nightmare so you're going to expect a bit of a nightmare with it but <clears throat> yeah it was a bit of a nightmare but i, I liked i liked the story it, it kept me going i wanted to see more of the, the cutscenes, and i wanted to see how it ended and stuff like that and you know and that's what kept me going um the only the one the one thing i will say about the story and one thing i will say about the voice acting is I did I did see that there was some criticisms on it and some people were, were making fun of it and kind of you know um, making comments. I never saw any of these comments personally, but in response to that, and if anyone ever watches this review and you know or Kawasaki ever re 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 watches this or you know it reaches back to him, I want to say that don't worry about it. You know um, there are tons of creators out there who really enjoyed this, and you know even though I have my kind of you know even though I have my 50, I'm fifty fifty on it and I'm not it wasn't my my my, my favorite. RE2 mod and it, you know, it's definitely not in my top five. It definitely, you know, it had it had a, it had an experience that I really enjoyed. And when it comes to voice acting, you know, definitely, you know, reach out and speak to some of these YouTubers, speak to some of these Twitch streamers in Resident Evil. Um, we'd be more than happy to to like, you know, correct the dialogue or even, you know, like, um, you know, voice act the characters ourselves. You know, if you want it in English more than happy to do that so that's definitely something um to think about um other things that are quite um quite uh, i really liked about this was you know um it just it, it, it even though um i I'm, I'm kind of condemned it a little bit for the flow <clears throat> it did kind of it, it done its job in keeping me hooked like i didn't feel like i wanted to like i, I didn't want to i didn't want to stop playing even though i kept saying i was gonna because i was getting a bit annoyed about you know you know kind of like certain areas and stuff but it, i wanted to keep going for the story the story was the biggest linchpin in this it was the, the one thing that kept me kept me on top but um yeah um the rank i gave this was a b uh reason they gave it a b rank is because the story really carried it um great ideas too great loads of great ideas but just maybe too many for one mod um and too too spread out it needs to be I, I, just a bit tighter would be nicer but that's just my personal opinion Take it or leave it. Um, and yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, definitely a, a solid B from me. Solid B. It's on there. But yeah, would I recommend it? Yeah. You've got patience and an understanding of RE2. And you want to play something completely new and completely different. We have a, a really a really, a really, really good story, really. You know, it, was, it was put together quite nicely. It flowed quite nice in the story department. But yeah, um, that's all I'll say about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Stick around to the end if you want to see... <laughs> some bonus footage i'm sure you'll enjoy that nice little compilation for you um and uh yeah thanks so much this has been resident evil 2 code nightmare by kawasaki make sure to check in the video description as well you'll find all the links to the mod links to kawasaki's channel and uh, you can find his discord you can join um but if you do happen to join it through here and you find this mod through through the video please make sure that you check out kawasaki's channel drop it a comment saying I found this through can you see him helps me out and uh, gets eyes on me you know so content creators of these kind of things can uh, know in the future that I you know represent them well and I'm always there to uh, play their play their good stuff anyway take care have a lovely uh, day evening afternoon night or whatever you're doing morning and uh, yeah I'll catch you on the next uh, next review take care <laughs> this gun fucking sucks Kill me. I'm not like, oh, dude, I can't stand that gun. No! You know, it just rooms like that. It's so jank. It's just, I don't like that. No! The one of oh, his gun is so bad, dude. Oh my god. Pointless. So fucking pointless, dude. It's so pointless. Make it worth me. Make it worth my while. And if they, I swear, if this thing's respawned. 
I mean, look, what's the point, dude? I mean, oh, I, I, you, you spend all that time killing it, and now it's back again, and it's going to turn around, and I can't shoot it because I don't have the ammo for it. And it's going to stand there, and it's going to be all like, annoying. And, oh, my God. There it goes. Big turn around. Yeah, big block. Bullshit, dude. Absolute fucking... Nah. Oh, dude, I'm on the verge of turning this off. <laughs>